Hello friends, I really hope you're happy and well. In today's video, I'll be photographing Rewalgo um, Waterfall. I hope I've pronounced that correctly, but that's in North Wales. And it's on your left of that mountain. And there's this beautiful river that goes all the way to the bottom of the mountain in amongst the trees. So there should be ample opportunity for lots of lovely photographs today. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, midges out. So uh, they've started attacking me already. So this is gonna be a difficult walk. I've even put on bug spray, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I hope I'm not gonna get eaten too much and I hope you're gonna enjoy the video. Thank you. I've just spotted this tree and I just wanted to show you something. Um, this is a, an alder on, the, on this riverside here. And you might be able to pick out these beautiful red berries. That's coming from a rowan, which landed in the crown of the tree and it's now starting to grow within the older tree so that's really beautiful um, and also I found just on the side there's a wasp nest so this tree really is supporting a lot of life So this is the first waterfall that I've come to. There are a few along the river here, but this one is particularly beautiful. There's lots of little layers in these rocks going up here, and they look particularly stunning. So I thought that would make a brilliant photograph. Now I don't know if you can see it on the video there, but the contrast in this image is so great, it's too much for the sensor. Now, the sun is just over there. It's about four o'clock, so it's early afternoon, so it's quite a strong sun. And it's side lighting all of this scene. And then we've got an older there and an older here. So we're just surrounded by lots of shadows. So rather than taking lots of different photos in, with different exposures and trying to blend them together, I've just waited about 20 minutes for this, this big cloud to come across the sun. And then that gave me some flat light so I can take a better exposed photograph. Now quite often people wonder why when I'm taking photographs of waterfalls, why that is my preference. So what I've done is take two photographs. I've taken one photograph first to show you when the sun is out and it's just highlighting all these white bits. So not to expose them um, to overexpose, uh, I don't want to burn out any highlights because you lose the detail. So I've just made sure the highlights are just at the right hand side of the histogram and then everything else just falls into place. But because it's so dark and the shadows are so deep, you lose a lot of detail in those shadows. So when you wait for the sun to go behind a cloud or at the moment, within about 10 minutes, you should go behind the mountain. So what that will give me is a nice even light. So I will still put the highlights of the water right to the right hand side of the histogram. So I'm not burning out any highlights. However, because the shadows aren't so dark, I can raise the exposure because the latitude is not as much. So the contrast between the black and the white is a lot narrower, which will enable me to brighten the image essentially to let more detail and more light into those shadows and that should give me a lot better exposure across the whole image. Normally when I'm going on these waterfall walks, I get lost, but this one's quite an obvious one. If you can see right up here, there's a really impressive waterfall up there, um, which I'm heading to. Unfortunately, the light isn't on there at all, so I can't really get a very good large vista of this one. 
but as I prefer not having light on the waterfall itself, it means I can go up really close and get some more intimate shots of um, localised waterfalls. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get all of that in one photograph, and I really don't think I will be able to. But what I'm going to do is just walk up as close as I can, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some amazing smaller waterfalls all around the base. And as I get closer up within this tree line at the foreground, maybe there's a, an epic shot with the entire waterfall in it. I've walked up to the waterfall now, and as you can see, it's behind me and it does look pretty epic. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, so I'm just trying to look around now for a nice composition. There's some lovely rock formations down in the river just to my right. But unfortunately, there's this, this is big barrier that crosses the river and that's quite unsightly. Now I'm not sure what it's there for, but um, I'm guessing it's to stop the sheep from whitewater rafting out of tourism season or something like that but it doesn't look very picturesque, so I don't really want it in the image. So there is a style just out of frame there, so I'm gonna climb over that and see if I can find some nice foreground interest, just so the photograph can lead up through the river and up to that wonderful, um, whatever it is, waterfall up there. I forgot what I came for. I wasn't overly happy with that photograph. I think there's a lot of contrast between this dark water and the, the light rocks. I think after rain and all of these rocks are darkened, I think that would look quite nice. But there's also a big difference between, because I'm using quite a wide angle lens, and the distance from down here right up to the top of that waterfall is, is probably too much to get into one photograph. There's not really a lot of flow that goes between the two. So, I'm going to head up a bit further up anyway, but I've just seen another view of this uh, little waterfall down here. Now above me, we've got this absolutely amazing sycamore, and that is pretty old. Um, probably one of the largest I've seen. The base is just huge, but it's really difficult to get that into the photograph. There is uh, some willows and birches this side, but they look a little bit messy. But I've tried a few compositions to see how they'd work and hopefully at least one of those will come out. I found a really nice, quite scenic shot here. How photogenic it is, I don't know. There's this lovely cluster of rocks with some falling down on the side and just big chunks and things. And then the waterfall's coming from the side and running over those rocks. And the, the mid ground looks really, really beautiful. However, the foreground is very messy. Uh, we've got this, small rower and a small um, sycamore and there's a lot of dead trees around here so it just looks a bit messy but there's a sheer drop just down the side so I can't get closer to those to cut those out and unfortunately we've got this tree line just to the side which cuts out the rest of the waterfall so I really don't know if this will work but I've taken the photograph anyway uh, just using F11, ISO 100, and it's about, I think, half a second. So I really don't know where the photograph is going to be. I think it's probably going to be a portrait roughly in the middle somewhere, but there's some lovely trees at the background. There's some lovely detail and rocks here. There's a lovely face here, and I don't know if all of that will work in a portrait. So I've, I've taken a number of portraits in a panorama, and I'm gonna stitch those together. So that should give me a lot of foreground interest all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to crop it when I get out to the computer and just enlarge it so I can see it better and really see where the image stands out. I think this is my final photograph, but I just had the, the camera precariously um, hanging on that little rock there. It was uh, just perched either side and there was a big drop in front of it and behind. So it was a bit of a worry but um, I held on to it just in case. So I stood there because you can see there's a bit of a waterfall to my right. Now, just around the corner, there's a number of waterfalls on this rock and there's a lot of moss and algae on the, on the rocks. It's very dark and it's very wet. So the contrast between that dark rock and the waterfall 
looks really beautiful and there's quite a few spouts coming down. So what I've done is basically taken a panorama, so it's just including this, this rock here and just moving around just to see uh, roughly where that rowan is. I hope you can see it in the background. So we've got quite a wide panorama, but I think this is this quite a simple shot because it's just going to have a little bit of a plunge pool at the bottom, but mostly it's just going to be the water cascading down a very dark background. Right, I said the last photograph was going to be the last for this video, but I've just come up the, the path a little bit further. The top of the waterfall is just up there, so we're not far off, but um, there's a lovely... Um, composition here with the water just flowing over these rocks and there's some beautiful trees there's um, a nice silver bitch here there's a really old silver bitch over the back and some rowan berries and there's just a lot of interest in this composition so I've taken a nice panorama just going all around the scene to try and get up as much detail in this one as possible and I think this should look absolutely wonderful I hope anyway I'm getting a little bit distracted because there's all these uh, Midge is eating me at the moment because it's, it's, it's near to dinner time so I'm getting eaten alive and I'm getting a bit fed up of it so this will be my last photograph I'm going to call it a day and go off and get something to eat before I get eaten too much so I really do hope you've enjoyed this this video if you have please give it a thumbs up I always love to read your comments so if you've um ow. if <laughs> I'm trying to be professional here. Not that I ever am, but these things are really annoying me. Um, so I'll try to start again. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, maybe consider that, I'd really appreciate that. And if you leave a comment, I always love reading them and I'd like to reply to them because I don't get many, so I'll reply to them all if I can. So thank you so much again for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh.